Indonesia's Republicorp has unveiled an ambitious plan to convert the retired Italian aircraft carrier Giuseppe Garibaldi into a cutting-edge unmanned carrier, as revealed at the Indotefence 2025 Expo in Jakarta. Negotiations are underway between Indonesia and Italy regarding the purchase of the four-decade-old warship. Republicorp's concept aims not just to extend the carrier's operational life by 15 to 20 years but also to tailor it to meet the strategic demands of the Indonesian Navy. The design shown under the Giuseppe Garibaldi name bears little resemblance to its original Italian counterpart. The flight deck is notably wider, and the carrier's traditional island superstructure has been completely redesigned. The plan calls for removing the existing superstructure and relocating a more compact version closer to the ship's aft, alongside repositioning the exhaust stack to make room for an additional aircraft elevator. However, this would require extensive internal modifications, given the ship's complex network of six diesel generators and four gas turbines whose chimneys run throughout the vessel's interior. Due to the scale of these structural alterations, the project's cost could rival that of constructing a brand new carrier. According to the promotional materials, the revamped Giuseppe Garibaldi would function as a mobile command center capable of housing aviation assets alongside advanced air defense, anti-ship, and anti-submarine weaponry. The mock-ups reveal updated armaments replacing the older Breda Automat 40mm cannons with modern 35mm Ehrlichon Millennium guns and RIM-116 missile launchers, each holding 21 missiles. The ship's radar and electronic suites are also slated for modernization with phased array systems, though no new anti-ship missiles or torpedo tubes were displayed. The standout feature is the integration of unmanned aerial vehicles. In partnership with Turkish defense firm Baykar, Republicorp plans to deploy Baraktar TB3 drones for carrier operations, along with the heavier Akinsey twin-engine UAVs, though the latter's inclusion on the model seems questionable given current takeoff requirements. Conventional fighter jets and helicopters remain part of the envisioned air wing, suggesting a hybrid mix of manned and unmanned aircraft post-upgrade. Originally, the Giuseppe Garibaldi's air group comprised 12 to 16 aircraft, including 6 to 8 AV, 8B Harrier 2 jets and 8 to 12 helicopters stored in the hangar below deck. However, extensive modifications to hangar space and deck layout are expected as part of the rebuild. Given the magnitude of engineering challenges, costs, and the limited remaining service life extension, the feasibility of Republicorp's ambitious proposal raises concerns. Even with collaboration from Italy's Fincantieri, the project demands massive investment and technical capability. For Indonesia, the financial commitment could rival funding a brand new carrier, calling into question whether this bold retrofitting effort will come to fruition or remain a visionary concept.